Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We'll jump right in and see what Spirit has for the Collective. And collective Energy, please, Spirit. Collective Energy. Collective Energies, please, Spirit. Collective Energy. Thank you. In the Central Energy. The Chariot. A uh, forward momentum, forward movement, a victory, a journey, challenge five, ten of wands in the upright. There's an end in sight. There's a completion of this heavy burden. You just got to lay down that burden. Let it go. Let it go. In the subconscious. you got the Three of Wands and the King of Cups. Moving forward, making preparations. Compassionate and diplomatic. In the recent past, The lovers. The strength of two together. Intention and expectation. Five of swords. So there is an expectation that, of course, people are going to be fighting still in the near future. We've got the world. It's a completion of a cycle. And there are no uh, new negotiations and contracts. Celebration of life. The lens that's being looked through. Whoa. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Six of Pentacles in the upright. So it's the completion of a cycle, a turning of the wheel of destiny, and a moving into um, abundance. And a time where sharing is caring. For real. In the environment, we got the moon. Hopes and fears. Knight of Wands. So yeah, some things are still hidden. You've got a Knight of Wands here who's um, unpredictable, wanting to come in, being all sexy and stuff. And in the outcome, you've got the Hanged Man. A release. Seeing things from a new perspective. High Priestess and the Two of Cups. House in reversed. Somebody's losing a house. There's a challenge of a ten of wands. Great fortune. Keep going. There's an end in sight. Great fortune. 
There's a moving forward for this King of Cups. He may have lost a house. He may have sold his house. He may not have a house. Excuse me, sudden wealth. Got the lovers in the re recent past. Expectation. Expect expectation is a bunch of five of swords, a bunch of bullies. A bunch of bullies. A bunch of bullies are in despair. Whoever was bringing conflict and upheaval um, is in despair over these lovers. It's a completion of a cycle and negotiations and contracts are being made. Marriage contracts are being made. I guess you have to have a kingdom spouse. You can't just tell Heavenly Father you don't want one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune is unpredictable. And they, we got um, an abundant and generous pathway opening up here. There is illusion. You might have some anxiety about this. You might be receiving some sort of premonitions. Or this, it's this, oh, it's this mature woman. She's in fear and anxiety because she's in the courthouse regarding these lovers coming together. There's a knight of wands, so there's the energy of Passion, mean male, unpredictable. <laughs> you just never know how he's going to show up. What do we got here? A message of concern. So there's the hanged man. Something's being released. Somebody's getting the message and they're concerned about that change. And we've got courtship on the bottom of the deck with a wealthy man an official person's receiving a message about imprisonment on the distant horizons for the toil and labor that they did with a community and a mature male trying to put high honor people in poverty a children who have a gift they're under adjudication for the work that they've been doing to steal the um, fortune from these kids These children with the gift are here to share that gift with the world. And these ones have been um, taking it and living lavishly while the children suffer. Acceptance in the reverse. <laughs> Boy, what are you doing? So we've got a victory. Um, so there's a house that's been flipped. And they don't want to accept it. There's something about the flipping of a house. So somebody's gained a victory over this house. It's been a heavy burden and there's a great fortune here. Whoever was in part of this house who got flipped, um, they want forgiveness. They're worried. 
King of Cups moving forward, making preparations with this Three of Wands. There's sudden wealth, a sense of control, a supportive leader who is about love. He's loving and compassionate. You've got the lovers here with expectation. So love and harmony, passion, the strength of two together. Pride in the reverse. Humble, humble unions. Humble unions. Those who are bringing conflict to these humble unions are in despair because you're balanced. They were bringing conflict to these humble unions or those people who are entering humble unions and they're in despair because you're balanced. This is a completion of a cycle. There are new negotiations and contracts for marriages being made right now. Empathy, seeing both sides of a situation. These marriages are with empathic people. They see both sides of a situation. The contracts are being done. This is a completion and failure here. Whoever, this, this mature woman who's in the courthouse, who's in fear because your pathway is open, they're in, they failed. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. The Wheel of Fortune is turning. It's a generous and abundant pathway. And this has, um, this mature woman is in fear about this. They're in the courthouse. They're in fear because these lovers are coming together. These, these divine kingdom unions are coming together and they were not able to hijack them. Or at least not all of them. They're in fear because these divine unions are actually coming together. This mature woman is in the courthouse over this. Relations, she's not about relationships that are for the highest or for, that serve the higher good. She doesn't give anything about relationships that are for the highest good. She's in fear and anxiety because those relationships are coming together. And she's in the courthouse right now and they see that she's she's not about that. There's a main male here who's got passionate, adventurous energy. He's fearless and sexy. Could be charming. Loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. He could be alone. And then we've got release and message of concern. Doubt. And indecision on the bottom of the deck. And death. So the house was flipped. The Whoever was ruling, who, whoever had authority in the house, it's been flipped upside down. There's been a victory um, gained and control um, is going to somebody else. Somebody who is false doesn't want to accept this. And yet they're seeking forgiveness because they're worried. Because this great fortune is... Um, Yours. Those who've been carrying Ten of Wands, 
Those who've been carrying this burden, the fortune's going to them. And they're worried about this. This Whoever got flipped out of the house, they're worried about this. Because it's genuine love. That they've been trafficking. They've been trafficking love. And they are, they are, oh, no wonder they're so worried. No wonder, so, no wonder they're so damn worried. They've been trafficking divine beings on and off planet rather than letting them come forward into their divine kingdom union. She's in big trouble. Enemy, enemy number freaking one. Enemy number freaking one. That goes right there because I was talking about her. This King of Cups is emotionally balanced. He's he's low and he's moving forward. He was able to um, get this wealth. So he gained a victory and he has this wealth. There's a servant here. Or maybe he is a servant to the collective or on behalf of the collective. There's these lovers coming together and they're, ex they're having expectations. They're humble. They're humble. They're not prideful people. There's conversation happening about it. It's like somebody's explaining to those others what has been happening here. And they're all listening very intently. The false people are in despair regarding this conflict because they couldn't take you out of balance. They failed to take you out of balance. sorrow and they're in sorrow they're in sorrow because they couldn't kick you out of balance and this is the completion of the cycle there's new negotiations and contracts of marriages open to seeing both sides of this situation empathy and em empathy people who have empathy the the actual unions are coming together friends not enemies you're going to be actually marrying a friend, not an actual narcissistic enemy who's been trained and freaking um, led by this person who hates love. She hates love. She hates relationships that are for the higher good. And she no longer has a house. House is in the reverse here too. She can no longer make decisions for the collective and their relationships. She's no longer in control of the pathways of abundance, the destinies of others and their pathways. She's no longer in control of that. She failed and she's in sorrow. She's not a sweetheart, for one, and she could not bring a death to this circumstance. The kingdom unions are coming together. She's not a sweetheart. She's in fear. She's in fear of death. She's in fear because she couldn't bring a death to the pathway of these kingdom unions, these lovers. This main male is charming, and he's... Um, coming forward lonely haughtiness reversed you got release here the hanged man message of concern and doubt service about money 
So somebody's having doubts about money because this wedding is happening. The thief is sighing over your happiness. They got the message that love is winning and they're a widower. They're a scholar who's a widower and they need consolation. They need to be consoled because they didn't get what they thought they were going to get. They're in despair. Live and learn, live and learn. Gain some experience. This person has been working with the merchants regarding divine kingdom spouses. I feel like she's a trafficker. And she was not hesitant at all to do that. She's worried now, she's seeking forgiveness. This King of Cups is love, and he's moving forward. There's a servant here. There's a servant here. There's a ritual that backfired. This servant may have served something that may have been part of a ritual, like a food or drink ritual, and it backfired. There's the lovers here who triumph. Everybody's talking about it. Those who used to run the house, those who once were, they're in despair. They failed to knock you out of balance and they are um, in sorrow. It was all a fantasy. A really extravagant fantasy. Trying to destroy eternal love. So you know what we got we got fear here sweetheart in the reverse and then death in the reverse you know she may not I've heard you know what where people are going to wish they could die but they won't be able to die it's like that it's like she's not a sweetheart and she's in fear because there won't be any death like Wow. Oh my gosh. And that's the zombie preparedness thing on, um, that website. Because there's no death. So their body may grow old and rot and do whatever, but they can't die. Oh my gosh, did, did the God of the underworld say they can't come there? The God of the underworld rejected them. Saving. Saving. So this there's new contracts. There's the there's a new div, divvying up of the funds among those who are with about eternal love. Mm. 
masks. Yeah. She's not a sweetheart. She was wearing masks, doing all kinds of things, and she's not going to be able to die. She can't go to the underworld or the or the afterworld. She's bound to her commitments. She's not about relationships that are for the higher good. She's against them. She fought against them. Her she warred against love. She's the enemy of love. And she got kicked out of love's house. Love is going on an adventure. Knight of Wands. Charming. Impulsive. He's not haughty. He's a main male. Loneliness, but he knows that he's never alone. We got good news. A miracle. A surprise. We've got unpredictable and charming. A surprise. He's going to get creative. You got a release. Somebody. Like. It's like there's a release. There's a letting go. Service. Message of concern. Doubt. Doubt. Wow. We've got alliance here in the upright and eternal love in the reverse. Alliances are honest and compatible. Compatibility. But eternal love says consistency, soulmate, eternity. And it's in the reverse. They were not able to get the honest and compatible eternal love unions. They couldn't steal that from the people and the fortune that goes along with them. So they were not able to steal the eternal love from um, these compatible and honest unions. They're overloaded because you're having sweet dreams and they're getting sick. The whole network has been stopped. And all the people who use divination tools can see it. This collaboration, those who became um, in unity against love are facing homelessness. They're being cast away. They could be dominated. They might be dominated and you're a-okay. You're, you're okay through all of the work that they did against you. You've been shown a kindness and a mercy. And while you were alone and in isolation, you reached your goals, okay? You focused on yourself. You focused on your connection with spirit, with the most high. And you did the inner work that was necessary. And we'll pull one more deck. Detachment. Yeah, they're getting detached. These false people are getting detached. Their house has been flipped upside down. They don't want to accept it. Um, they weren't confused at all when they were selling, when they were trafficking um, people, places, and things through this merchant. They're worried. They want, they want uh, forgiveness about this great fortune. They were dishonest. Using sex. They use sex to manipulate people. And they caused a lot of damage to love. Whoever this servant is did a ritual that backfired. The lovers triumph. They have expectations. People are talking about it. They're humble. They're humble people. Oops. 
they're the real deal they're not just a reflection they're the real deal and you've got runner they're not running away they don't need to run away they have nothing to run from these um who's been evicted out of this house they brought conflict and they're in despair now because they're all about abusive relationships that's their contribution to the world is abusive relationships there's an understanding here you know you know that there's there's those who are about loving relationships who work together in eternal love to manifest this home and this environment and this foundation for the family and whatnot and then there are those who tear all of that down they go in and infiltrate these solid foundations and they do whatever they can they put a jezebel spirit on somebody and then they're tempted and they go out and they do whatever and then the home is broken that's what this person did they're in regret they failed they're in sorrow and they're stuck in a fantasy you're coming into the the wealth is being redistributed in the world yeah they're on the shadow side they're in the shadows they're in regret they failed wow their values were all about money love wins and third party situations oh my gosh that's all it was they use sex to manipulate people and relationships in this world so you've got inseparable here. Somebody sees you as their one and only. Your pathway is open. This mature woman is in the courthouse. She's suffering. She's in fear because this mask wear is not a sweetheart and she doesn't get to die. She's an enemy to the house. She's an enemy to life, to love. She's bound to her commitments. She's an enemy to relationships that are for the higher good. Whatever they are, she's, she's a person who neglects anything and everything as long as she can wear her fancy little dress and walk around like she's Miss Grace. Horrid person who spent her entire existence on tearing apart faithful and trusting unions by sending Jezebel spirits by attacking the dream state by doing whatever it was they do there's a this is a new chapter it's a new chapter for love they cannot um there's there's honesty here there's compatibility here with your alliances you're surrendering and you're re you're letting go these people who are enemies to eternal love They are in service to the enemy of eternal love. And there's a new chapter here, which is honest and compatible to trust. So, um, and they're not, obviously they're not going to be part of it because they're not compatible to that. There is hope for divine union after all. They miss their opportunity. They don't know what to do. They chase it around and the truth is being revealed regarding these destinies. They want to escape. They're all stuck in their ego. But these soul ties are happening and they don't agree with it. They feel overwhelmed and unsatisfied and it's an unexpected outcome. They feel unappreciated because you healed yourself. It's like their work failed. I It, it failed. You healed yourself. And so they feel unappreciated because their their work wasn't sufficient. Their work wasn't sufficient to rid the world of love. This, this horrible person here. She can talk the talk and walk the walk, but she is a cold-hearted, black-hearted widow poison. has her hair all perfect wearing her fancy dress got flowers there but she's got a snarl on her face and a freaking tar ball for a heart wow well she doesn't get a die 
And there's zombie apocalypse on the, um, what is it? The CDC website. There's an actual zombie apocalypse survival instruction stuff. And they said, oh, it's just, I'm sorry. It wasn't a joke. CDC is not putting a joke on their freaking official website. Okay. They're actually preparing people for these people who are going to get sick and they're not going to be able to die. They're preparing people for the outcome of what's going to happen to some. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Bye.